Today on All For Horses TV, we're going to be looking at Cecilia and Max, and they're going to be riding Advanced 100 for us. Once she's done the test, we're going to discuss it, have a little bit of a training session to see if we can work through some of her problems, and then she's going to ride the test again, and hopefully, with some of our comments, she's going to be able to ride a better test for it. So we're going to have a look at her now, and she's going to ride through Advanced 100. I've been competing at uh, Advanced Medium. This is the first time I'll actually try even riding through an Advanced test but I'm hoping to be able to compete at Prix St. George within not too many months. So that's what I'm working towards, basically. All right, Cecilia, how are you doing? I'm fine. Good. How's Max? He's good. He's going really well. Good. Um, so you know today we're going to ride through Advanced 100? Yes. Um, are you happy with the test? Is there anything in this test that you're a bit worried about? Oh, if I am, have him going just the way I want him to go, then... Then everything should be... Okay, but I've never even ridden it through. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a test for you as well as him. Okay. Um, he has quite good changes, but now you've got to put those into like a, a sequence. Yes. So this is the first time you've ridden changes with a sequence, yeah? Yes. I'm going to ask you to ride through the test, and I'll make some comments about it, and then we'll get together afterwards, and... Um, see if we both agree okay. then we'll work a bit longer and then we'll do the test again okay good all right so you get yourself ready and I'll join you in the school in a minute okay. this is the first time we see her really interesting to see how she enters we look at the quality of canter coming down the center line very straight entry super halt but you see how he just drifted coming into it and fell and again, a little bit of drift coming off the centre line. She's going to track to the right. And she's going to ride a 10 metre circle at B. She now needs to start thinking about that circle, how she's going to set him up. Looking for the X as a point to land. She's cut that a little bit short. And into the shoulder in. That's a good angle. Keeps it forward, goes straight afterwards through the corner. Transition into the medium chop was nice. Could show a little bit more. And a little bit fading coming back. Again, I'd like to see a more direct transition. Again, we look at the circle to the left at E. And again, more impulsion in that collected trot. It's not a slower trot, it's just a trot with more cadence and more expression. And that's something that this horse just needs to bring it into the test. Again, nice angle. Just losing him a little bit there, falling in. Good setup into the half pass. She rode it well. It's just tilting the head and losing the quarters a little bit towards the end. So she just needs to ride him a bit more into the bend, a bit stronger with the leg. Keep it going all the way across. Don't let him come back. Look for the transition at the other end. She did ride a clear transition, but again, it needs a little bit more quickness in the step when she brings him back. He's a little bit tending to slow rather than to collect. And again, the setup into the half pass, it's nice and clear. Just a bit too much quarters that's blocking the front. She needs to release the front, ride him into it. On the turn, she's thinking about the transition to walk. It's a quite a difficult transition to walk because you've got to turn, think about the transition, land at M with into a walk and straight across the diagonal into your extension. 
takes the rein well, could be a bit steadier in the head. The extended walk, we like to see that the horse takes the bridle, but not that he's chomping too much, that he's sucking back and pulling out. It's just a little bit too much variation. First pirouette to the left. Keep the bend, keep the shoulder coming around. Think forward in the walk, not too tight. You see how she rode a little bit too tight that he cut the back legs out. He stopped and didn't keep the true walk. You lose expensive marks there. Keep walking, keep walking. Again, losing that hind leg. And that will affect the transition afterwards. Expensive mistakes for the warp pirouettes. Bit more forwardness for the medium canter, she's got to go for this. It's a bit slow to develop. Ride forward to the change. Again, she could have showed a bit more of a transition coming back and not use so much body in the flying change. Sit up into the walk, a little bit on the hand. Nice going forward. She needs to just take her upper body back coming around this corner, help him a little bit more. Nice balance, much better. Now she has the serpentine. It's five loops with the flying change across the center line. It's a bit short behind as he came off the corner. Again, she's not thinking too much about the canter, which is the most important part. She's more worried about the change. And for that, she's not being able to place the change how she would like. That was a good change. And again, a short. It's where the hind leg's not coming through from behind as one with the shoulder. A bit more needed for extended canter. Be bolder, ride forward, ride forward. Again, transition was a bit early, the change was a bit early. Now she looks at that half pass. Yep, good, keep it forward, keep it riding. Good angle. A little bit on the borderline of too much quarters, but I think she got away with that. This is where it gets a little bit difficult. She's now got to turn onto the diagonal and ride three flying changes every four strides. Good, very nice change. You see how the second one was positioned nicely at X. That was a little bit the horse just getting to the change before she was, and then for that he gets a little bit short in the high legs. Half pass, again, ride it forward, bit more shoulder needed. That's better, that's a better angle. And into a halt. A horse anticipating a little bit what was happening. He knew what was coming there. Those are the sort of things we need to take into consideration. Okay, that was uh, Celia and Max. We'll go and have a discussion with her and see how she thought it went. Okay, Cecilia, you've ridden the test. How did you think it went, um, knowing that's the first time you've ridden the Advanced 100? Yes, there weren't any complete disasters, but he's just a bit tense and not quite... Listening? With me. No, not quite listening. Yeah. Um, which makes it difficult to do it nicely. I think... I forgot a bit where I was going as well, the, the canter half passes, I was thinking at the trot once, and so I, wasn't, I was a bit behind the marker there. I think your canter half pass actually were very nice. You were a little bit on the borderline of having too much quarters at times, mm. but actually the, um, he, he finds the lateral work in that quite well. I felt that was a nice part of the test. Um, for me, the, the engagement needed to be a little bit more clearer, and there were certain parts of the test where it showed up where they had lack of engagement, yeah, yeah, sure. um, especially in the extensions. And... Um, I've seen this horse do extended trots and know that they can be 10 times bigger and more. Mm. And it's your transition going in and out that you need to sort of concentrate more on. Make him a little bit on the short side, a little bit quicker off your leg. And, and have a little bit of a half halt and say, come on, come a bit sharper. Make him think, oh, something's coming up. 
because he came around the corner and was a bit surprised that he had to go in an extended trot and it then took too much time going in. Yeah. You then felt that it wasn't going, so then you started backing off a little bit early. Yeah. Okay, so I'd like to see those a little bit more uh, positive. The half passes in the trot, you rode very well to start with. You, you could made a clear transition of taking the shoulder first, you rode forward into the half pass, but unfortunately as it went, he then started to block on you yeah. and he got a little bit tight in the frame which then when you came to the centre line, you couldn't be accurate to say, hit the centre line right straight. It was a little bit falling on to the centre line, then a bit wobbly. Um, Walk pirouettes, both of them stuck. So again, the, you, what we want you to look at is the, you walking into the pirouette, thinking walk, walk, forward, coming around, coming around. I think you came in a little bit tight to the first step mm. and he, it kind of put the anchors on him yeah. and he then couldn't bring it around. Yeah, so he just yeah, well, it was yes, he did it on both he, both hind legs, um, which then f f because of that leads onto your canter straight off. Um, it was a little bit slow in the transition to canter, which that's where you lose part of the engagement, and then you've got your medium canter, and for me that was your opportunity to get him back, mm. and it wasn't an opportunity that you took. You, again, the medium canter was a bit laboured, so your change here. He got it and it was clean, but it was a little bit desperate. It was a bit like, come on, and you had to really help him through the change. Um, simple changes, good. The second one better than the first one. The first one, he came a little bit against the hand. Good going out of the first one, but the, the, the second one, you just set up and actually presented him a little bit more to it. Maybe the first one, you learnt your lesson, and the second one, you benefited from it. Serpentine, me, you didn't really have the canter. So the first change, he was late. The second one, you missed your stride, so you were beyond the centre line. Third one was great. Fourth one, he was short. So again, that's just a case of you being onto the canter, being quicker. If he is tense, that's, those sort of things will happen. Mm. And you've got to try and give him the confidence to say, come on, work with me, stay with me. Communicate a little bit more with him. So you repair that canter quickly. That you can, that's what these tests are designed for, mm. to keep you on the toes. Um, I thought that your canter half fours, like I said, were very nice. Your fours started off great. I f you came into that first one, it was really forward, it was expressive. You hit the second one where you wanted to, and I thought, great, yeah, you know, just really put those in well. And he just beat you to the third one, and uh, just got a little bit late on that last change. Yeah. So um, we're going to basically work on making him a little bit sharper, a little bit quicker, a bit more engaged that you can start to play, like extend the canter, bring it back again, and just get him to take a bit more weight. Okay? Yes. So let's go into the middle of the school, and um, we'll just start off. Okay? okay, okay. Now a little bit sharper from the leg now. So already you're onto that canter, saying, come on, quicken the tempo. That's good, that's a better canter. Equalness with your hand. On the next long side, between H and S, I want you to collect the canter. Not slower, sharper canter, sharper canter, more. Yeah, that's it, lower leg, and then right forward. A little bit sharper off the leg. Give him a little kick now, wake him up. Just from your leg. And again, sitting back. Come quicker, come quicker. More collection. More, more than that. Yeah, yeah, that's better. Quicker than the leg. And forward. On the long side, you're going to ride a medium canter and be bold in it. Sit up, use the corner to balance him. Good, now ride it. Go on, go, more, go, go. Again, you're holding back too much. And collect him, sit, use the corner. Lower leg, that's it. And again, medium canter, look up. Come out of the corner and go, ride it, stronger, 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 keep riding, more, keep riding, keep riding. Good, now you collect him, use the corner. More into the corners, change the rein on the diagonal with a single flying change. Ride the canter, good. Keep the connection with the hind leg, circle that end, make him a little bit sharper again with the leg. Let's just give him a little kick now, just remind him. Lower leg, 
Harder. Don't lose the shoulder. Good. The canter is important. How you come off that corner? Collect him. Collect him. Too free, huh? So then you're stride late. You've actually got to say to him, sit on the corner. Don't let him come around the corner too fast and too free. Now start collecting. Now start collecting. Turn. Find your point and ride to the change. Good, Cecilia. Well done. Do it again at S. Turn across. Sit now. Sit him back now. Sit him back now. Find your stride. Good. Well ridden. Very nice. Do me a transition to trot. Okay, come across the diagonal from H and leg yield across the school. All the way. A little bit more sideways. A little bit more parallel. A bit more quarters. Half halt the front. A bit more sideways. Good. Now walk and trot. And go. That's it. And sharper. Sharper. Much sharper off the leg. Very good. On the next diagonal, you're going to do a medium trot. Little bit of a transition past C. Walk and trot. And go. That's fine. Yep. Better. Now medium trot on the diagonal. Keep him up to the bridle. And drive him. Let him go. More. More. Good. Keep it going to your corner. Transition through the corner, walk and trot, transition past A, and go. That's it, and again with the diagonal. And push. Keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming. That's better. More like it. Good, good. Okay, let's have a look at these walk pirouettes then. Think about the tempo of the walk. Keep walking him around, walking him around. Don't let him cut you out. Keep the bend. Outside leg, outside half, hold the front. Walk, walk. That's where he gets tight. Okay, when you come into it, just hold. If you're going to do one here to the left, I want to slightly position the shoulder in. When you take the first step, don't push too hard that you bring it in too tight, because that's what he's doing, he's getting stuck like this. Then he can't move this leg and this one gets tight. So let him walk it around more. Think forward and around, forward and around, so that hind leg can keep it coming out. Yeah? Okay, again. Think forward and around, forward and around. Keep it coming, good. So these are a little bit bigger, but you're keeping the walk, which is more important. Left. Forward and round, half halt the front, half halt the front. A little bit big, do the left one again. A little half halt on the rein to say, oh, it's steady, don't walk away from me. Half halt now, half halt, that's it, yes. Yes, better. Okay, so we're gonna run through the test again now. I want you to think about those things that we've just worked on, those extensions, completely different when you ride them a little bit stronger and you set him up on the short side. Now we use the transition, I want you to use more of a half halt aid, but to make him come quicker, not to slow him down. So he's more energy, so that he comes off the corner and he was already thinking, right, let's go. Yeah? yeah. So I really want you to ride for your extensions. Your um, serpentines, think about the quality of the canter, that's the most important part. Half holding it setting up will be easy. If the canter's a little bit long and a little bit free, you come around the corner, you can't get the collection back. Yeah? So I want you to come off this corner riding collection. When you see your stride, then you can ride forward to the change. So you're not coming back at the change. You, you're still going to push to it, but your, your preparation is done throughout the turn. Okay? So you're going to ride through it again. We'll have a little discussion and go from there. Good. So Cecilia and Max riding advanced 100 for the second time. The new improved. Very straight. Good energy. Not to let him drift to the left as he halts. Better. And positive move off. And we're going to track to the right. 
This is where she needs to ride into the corner, set him up, keep the engine coming now. This is where she needs to set the, the trot up, the tempo for the circle. That's where she needs to do all her work. And then the energy should take the circle around. Good from the accuracy. Hold the shoulder into the shoulder in. Don't let him fall out the shoulder. Use a bit of outside rein to control that. Always easier when you've got a wall, but we don't have a wall, so she's got no excuse. Good use of the corner. Good start in the medium trot. That's better. Nice frame. Good reach. Very good. That one's a good mark. And now she's going to ride half pass from P to I and then continue down the centre line. So we're looking at the setup around the corner. A little bit shoulder four. That's it. The horse can ride into that half pass. A little bit more bend needed. Quarters now. Finish the half pass. Just needs to tidy that last little two strides up that he finishes it with the quarters in a parallel position. Extension now out through the corner, look up, look where you're riding, and let him go. A bit more uphill. Keep it going. We look for the transition and ride forward. Very nice. Again, shoulder, shoulder in a little bit before the half pass, just to get the angle right. Nice setup, that's it. Easy into it, not so much quarters yet. Let him shoulder come. And now compress him. Very good. That's a better start. Yeah. Just started that much more ease. And I finished with a much better half pass. That walk transition could be a little bit crisper. She came on a little bit lazy through the corner, I think. Didn't really establish the walk. And not to let the horse shorten the walk too much here. They know something's happening because of the way the rider picks up the reins. So you mustn't let the horse get too tight in these warp periods. You must think forward, forward, forward. That's better. She rode that much more positive. The key for this horse is not to go too small. A little bit wide at the beginning. Good. And much better than the, the first test. I think they could still be a little bit tidier. A bit late to the canter there. But I think from her point of view, just establishing that he keeps the walk is much, much better and much more of the right direction from a training point of view. Go for the medium canter. Go on, be bold. Come back a little bit early again, an early change. She doesn't need to do that. That's just lack of confidence. And that will build the more she does this sort of level. Collecting for the simple change, that's a better start. Good. Very nice. A little bit hurried through the walk. Be careful once you land to walk, you just relax. Ease the pressure off in the walk. Quite a difficult movement for this horse in the serpentine. Sitting back, she's not quite got her angle there. Good change. Ride for the stride. I think he got there a little bit before she did. Well, it was good that the horse helped her. Good. Help him. That was a shame. It was a good shame because the first changes were very clean on the marker. You can see him just looking a little bit there. She's got to keep his concentration for the half pass. More shoulder. Very good. Nice and uphill. And straight. And now it's the diagonal or four time changes. Collect and then ready to ride forward. Good change. Good change. Forward balance. Good. He needs to come through a little bit stronger with his hind leg. I, I think that more confident the horse gets, um, more that will happen. But uh, it's the first time this horse has done this sort of level, so it's all a bit new to him. OK, 
Again, nice uphill forward going half pass. Keep him straight into the halt. Much lighter off the feet into that transition. For me, I think that was a much more structured test. Um, it looked even more confident and much more together than the first time. And the changes were much better, although we had one mistake in the last on the serpentine. For me, it was a much better test, so I hope she's happy with it as well. And we'll go and find out. So overall, huge amount of difference. We've still got places where we can address, but uh, I was pleased. Mm. Would, you, would you agree or do you think? Yeah, no, overall, I'm never, I'm never totally happy. No, that's true. Never. <laughs> <laughs> But it's just on and off in the canter. I, I lost him, yeah, and he drifted, especially towards the end. You, you, so when he gets a bit tense, sure. you make it too obvious. Mm. And I think to people watching, it's not so obvious. No. And I think you're sitting up there, oh my God, he's doing this, oh my God, he's doing that. And we don't really see that. Yeah. And you've got to have the confidence that you can just ride through that. Yeah. He doesn't do anything as such. He's not a horse that's going to spin round on you. But he does, he, you can see, I know what you're saying, he's a little bit high and he gets then a little bit sort of tight that he won't mm. flex when you ask him to. Mm. But the more confident you get of actually riding through that, I think that will disappear. I think you expect it, he does it, yeah. and you say, oh, I told you he'd do that. Yeah. And you, that's what you've got to, it's a psychological thing that you've got to work on in that situation. Good. Well, I wish you the best of luck. I hope you've taken some good pointers from today. Thank you very much. Pleasure, and we'll catch up soon. Thank you.